But what's up guys, it's your super players back at it again with another video and it's gonna be a little bit different. You won't be seeing my face, you'll be seeing my hands in the card. Leave a comment or like the video or dislike it if this is not something you like and if you like seeing our face, hit it up in the comment section, let me know. But I'm doing a deck profile of my favorite character to name and it's Oob. And to fit the theme of this deck, we have his past life Kid Boo in the background staring at you guys. And apparently in the anime, Oob is Boo backwards because that's his reincarnation. And let's get to this deck profile. So, pretty much it's Oob, and when this card attacks, a leader card draw one card. And when he awakens, you put two energies back to active. So he has the new type of uh, awakening where obviously they restand the energy and you don't draw two cards, which is a very common theme. And we do have a reverse foil. Look how amazing he looks. It's sick, and he's about to kick you in the face. And it's Oob, annoying Oob, <laughs> annoying power. And when this guy attacks, draw one card. And this is what makes this guy pretty amazing. And a game finisher in my opinion. And it gets rid of problematic cards if you don't know what he does. You activate during your main phase. Uh, choose one card from your life and add it to your hand. Choose up to um, one of your opponent's battle cards and return it to its owner's hand. And this card gains 5,000 power for duration of the turn. So those problematic cards that you cannot pop with any of those other, like Kale or Mass Saiyan, any of those, you can bounce it back with his effect. Not only that, you get the 5k boost, and you're pretty much gonna go for game at that point. So you gotta beef him up to whatever amount of lives you have. So if you have three, pump him up 15k, so he's a 30k, and then you add a double strike, or if they're at their final life, just go all in. They gotta pretty much out combo you. So this guy's pretty much a game finisher on his own. And I love this leader, it's been fun. I tweaked it due to the meta in my locals, so there, if there's some changes, change it uh, due to your locals and what you guys see in your tournaments and how your scene is. So yeah, let's get to it. So I'm going to move him over and look at this guy's evil look. So we're going to start off with three Awakening uh, Talent Pen. I like this uh, card just because it's pretty much a consistent way of awakening if they don't pop it. Um, what she does is when this card attacks, you may choose one card from your life and add it to your hand. If you do so, this card gains 10,000 power for duration of the turn, and at the end of the turn, you bounce it back to your hand. So you're always you're always going to have something consistent to awaken you, and it's just going to be a phenomenal card to have. Let me move this over. And then we have the man of the hour himself. It's going to be Tessa Strength. Ooh, we run four of these guys. What makes this guy amazing is that you need the other uh, test of strength, Son Goku, in order for this combo wombo plays or wombo combos for you guys. And if those of you guys that don't 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 know what he does, this is what he does. And when this when you play this card with if test of strength, Son Goku is in play in your battle area, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards with twenty thousand or less and place them at the bottom of their owner's deck, which is amazing. And obviously, you need the the comboing dude that goes with him is. For test of strength Son Goku, just because he, when you play him, you get to play Oob for free, because this is what his effect is. When you play this card, if your leader card is World Tournament, you may choose one test of strength Oob from your hand and play it. And if you do so, both this card and that card, oh that card and this card, gain 5,000 power for duration of the turn. So that's just phenomenal. It's a very great combo you do. It's the most powerful combo from this set, and that's why those cards are pretty expensive. And let's go to the next uh, card, and it's gonna be Awkward Situation Trunks, which is kind of uh, similar to Son Goku and Oob. You need to have one, uh, the other card in order for the great effect to resolve, which is this. Once returned, choose one Awkward Situation ot Otsutsuki, I think that's how you say it, and, uh, in your battle area and place it at the bottom of, your, of, the owner, of its owner's deck. And if your leader card is World Tournament, which it is, um, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. So he's a two drop popper if you happen to have his best friend, the guy that has a crush on him in the anime. It's uh, Awkward Situation Otsutsuki. And what's great about his permanent is if <clears throat> Awkward Situation Trunks is in your battle area and Awkward Situation Otsutsuki is not, you can play this card from your hand without paying its energy cost. So pretty much you have two 15k beaters and you're pressuring your opponent and getting rid of battle cards. So if they're they're in rest mode, you're gonna KO them with 
the attack. If not, you're going to pop them next turn, so they got to invest a lot in it, and it's a pretty much a good board, um, uh, board clearing cards. And then we have top of his game, Sun Gohan, super combo for World Tournament, and you use it at 5 lives or less, and you gain 10,000, and you draw one card, which is awesome, and he's searchable. With this guy himself, we run three announcer ever curious. Like I said, um, change it to your meta. I added three because you'll see um, I needed room for other cards. But yeah, I ran three. So when you play this card, if your leader card is World Tournament, look at the top seven cards from the top of your deck and choose one uh, World Tournament among them and add it to your hand. So that's what makes this guy amazing. And then we have the one that's <laughs> it's pretty much the same, but he has a mustache now is the negate um, announcer play by play pro um, if your leader card is world tournament you can uh, play this card with the counter activated and during your turn when you play this card if there are two or more world tournaments which you will um, obviously have because this this card's amazing uh, you get uh, you play in your uh, battle area and you draw two cards which is an awesome effect so you can either use it as a negate or you can use it as a draw and then we do have Hidden Power E Supreme Kai. This guy's amazing just because he's the double strike Champa, but for World Tournament and he's searchable with Gowasu and pretty much the other announcer. So I run one of this guy just because if you want to go for a game with Oob, you can, and he's going to be pretty much beefed up pretty, uh, pretty high, his strength. And then we do run obviously the Seeker Rare because this card is amazing and he's dual attack and double strike and if your leader card card is world tournament and if there are six or more um, cards in or six cards or more in both your energy area and your opponent's energy area decreases cards cost by from your um, in hand by two and when this guy attacks choose up to one card each from your opponent's life and energy areas and then place them in the bottom of its owner's deck in any order so you're pretty much going for game with him He's 40k and you're pretty much going to kill your opponent with this card. And what makes Oob a great card is that you have the Unbreakables and you'll see what other card I'll be using. You have Unbreakable Super Saiyan Son Goku which is the best um, combo draw one. Pretty much a super combo in this deck. It makes it very consistent and you draw a lot and it's very defensive. We do run three Unyielding Trunks or Spirit Trunks just because I felt like four was kind of like there were situations where I only needed three, I didn't need four, and then I kept drawing them. <laughs> it kind of upset me, but it was fine. But like I said, tweak it to your own playstyle and what's currently in your meta. And um, unyielding spirit trunks to restand your energy because your leader is blue. And then we have one time uh, control Kronoa just because, like I said, in my locals there's people that still run Shugesh, and so I run Kronoa, which is an amazing card. Run her. Stop the Shugesh plays. And then we run two black cards, which is Dimensional Banisher Fu and Mass Saiyan, the Mysterious Warrior. And veggies are a big thing in my locals. Like I said, I run Mass Saiyan because of that. I don't run Fu. Uh, I end up like warping their Kabas and stuff like that because they end up spamming out. Or even against Announcer. I, I just felt like it's a better meta call in my locals. So, like I said, tweak it to your own. Um, local tournaments how they how it is over there and we run one legendary flu you still gotta run it it's still just the power it's still very powerful one is just phenomenal you sometimes just want to see it or you don't and you just want to bounce back a Cronoa or bounce back those annoying blockers that they might have and then <clears throat> the uh, shocking latent ability extra card that works with oob if your leader card is oob it gains 10,000 power for duration of the battle and you draw one card I don't run 4 just because I felt like it was kind of cloggy. Um, it was hurting me more than it was helping me in the beginning. And so I run 2 just because of that reason. Early game, you don't want to take those criticals when those aggressive decks are at, out. Or those storm decks. And it helps you stay alive even longer. And then we have the other best negate, which is Wiss's Course, and we run 4. And the next best extra card that you need to run in this deck is 4 Sensu Beans. And there you guys have it. This is the Oob deck profile, my favorite character to name. <laughs> and like, uh, like, comment, subscribe if there's some tweaks that you would do. Um, 
put them in the comment section give me some tips I'm still tweaking it it's still a very great leader uh, like I said like or dislike the video if you like this type of video like the way I did it with my hands and the cards please hit it up in the comment section so we can continue doing them and there you guys have it like we always say y'all stay super yeah